So mm -hmm. that was my introduction. Mm -hmm. And very soon after that, I went to a workshop. When I was back in Germany, I researched and saw there's a workshop in Munich happening, 300 people. That was how, how it started, you know, for me. And it was very exciting. I saw it and I felt like I'm watching a, a Zen master at work. That was what I saw. And I thought like, this is it. And I, I just really followed him wherever he held workshops because in those early days, he, whenever he was asked, asked if he would do training, he said that, no, no, you don't need training. You just come and see me work and you can ask questions afterwards and that's how you learn. And then one day you start. And this is exactly how we early on did Mm -hmm. And for me, it was perfect. And I really fell in love with the work. I mean, after a year, I did, did basically only groups with constellation work. I had nearly stopped individual work because I found it so much more um, beneficial, so much more efficient, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I really dived into it. And as the wave, that was like 94 and the wave in Germany just started growing and became big. And I was like on the top of the wave. So in no time, I was filled with work. And uh, this is how it started. Beautiful. It sounds like it's, it found you rather than you found yeah. it. Yeah. I wasn't out. I was happy with what I did. And I wasn't out looking for a, a different kind of work. Mm -hmm. I was very happy with the hypnosis. And in the beginning, I often used it and often put in my groups, little pieces of hypnosis, or I transformed NLP procedures that are plentiful and beautiful into constellations. I love to mix it. And uh, nowadays, I cannot say anymore what is what, but uh, I consider myself, well, mainly I'm using the technique of constellation work for many purposes, uh, mainly for the purpose of helping people to understand their life better or continue growing 